so but how do you how do you grow your audience on LinkedIn effectively and with the right people um, because the first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna say is pretty obvious. it's it's uh, the rule we're gonna follow is if you wanna if you wanna be omnipresent and be magnetic let's say on social media channels it's very important that you keep in mind this one rule and that one rule is that your the majority of the content you put out has to be um, relevant to the majority of the audience that the audience that you're putting it out to. So this means two things. It's one, it's about the content you put out. Um, so I will run you through, through a couple of tactics, um, but this is kind of a given. You will have to write content. I, I won't tell you what to write. This is about you, about your own value. And this is also about the audience you want to attract. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of sayings about on LinkedIn about uh, how to be vulnerable in your writing and everything. I'm not going to tell you to do that. That's something else. It's up to you what you write. Um, but so that's one thing, what you, what you're going to, you have to put out content and it has to be uh, relevant to the majority of your audience. The second part of that is curating your audience, making sure the right people are in your audience. And the very first uh, key there on LinkedIn is to clean out your LinkedIn connections. We all know these, uh, like a lot of inbound, uh, con connection invites of people we barely know from all over the world. Um, and it's, it's just a pain to go through them. And so we, over the years, you've probably accepted a lot of people who shouldn't be in your audience because they're not relevant to you and they're not pos possible customers to your, to the product you have. Um, so that's the very, it's a, it's a hands-on, very, uh, tiring and boring trick, but clean out your connections list and make sure that there's just people in there that, that, that matter to you. For example, in my connections list, I, I aim to have as much, um, marketers and um, innovation managers and founders and CEOs in my, in my audience. The rest I kind of weed out. Then a second part is how do you automatically grow your audience? Well, I'm going to share my screen now for the first time uh, here. So what you see here, does it, does it show well, Liam? So what you yeah, see yeah. here is, uh, is it LinkedIn, is LinkedIn sales navigator, um, which is a feature of LinkedIn premium. You can also have the recruiter, the recruiter one, or just the general one. Um, the thing is that, especially with the general, with the basic one, you will have a lot less uh, filters because those filters are really powerful. With these filters, you can target exactly the kind of people that you want in your audience. So for example, here, uh, let's say, this is actually a search I saved. Um, we, we are, we, with our agency, we're organizing a conference in a week and we also want to attract a lot of uh, innovation managers. So I've put up a search here for innovation managers, basically people in innovation, decision makers in innovation in bigger companies. Um, so here I would have to click this still. In bigger companies being my secondhand connections. Uh, and I can, I can now basically auto visit these profiles, which is the first thing that can work for you because if you visit profiles on LinkedIn, people see it up in their notifications. This doesn't work as well as it used to, but it still works. What you, what you also can do, and this is for, for example, something that I did um, to, to market basically our conference to these people, you can start auto connecting with these people. Uh, there are several tools you, you can use to do that. The one I use is Linked Helper. Now, as you can see, my license just expired today. I didn't renew it yet, but it doesn't really matter to show you what it can do. Um, what I can do here is um, I can have all, I can collect all of these people which I cannot do now because the license has expired, but you get the idea. He will collect all of the people in here and then you can automatically send these people uh, connection invites. Uh, do not just send them connection invites, do attach a personal note. So a personal note can be something like, hey, uh, my name is Shil, I'm the head of growth of the growth revolution and I'm looking to, I'm looking to learn from and, and get in touch with innovation managers in Belgium and the Netherlands. Let's connect, question mark, cheers, Shil. You will be surprised how many people will accept this connection request. Um, in, my, in my estimates, it's between eight and nine out of 10. Uh, and from that moment on, those people will be in your network and they will basically see every, every type of content you put out. And this can be really powerful. For example, um, this is a second tip I will give you. Every profile you have on social media, doesn't matter if it's on LinkedIn, Quora or somewhere else, treat it as a landing page meaning try to maximize your follow back ratio. Meaning if people go, if people do click on your profile and they land on your profile, it has to have the same effect as a landing page. You, you want them to follow you back. So there's a couple of things uh, you have to do for that. 
make sure you have a lot of endorsements, make sure you have recommendations of cool people. Um, those are, that, that's pretty basic stuff. Take care of your, take care of your headshot, update your experience, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you have a great header, but then very importantly, this is a very like underestimated feat on LinkedIn, uh, which is your tagline. So you don't want to miss the growth conference.eu for a while, like for two months, for two weeks, I had something like organizing the most valuable conference for innovation managers in Belgium. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I, what I had as a line. Um, but that was basically my tagline. And if you then, if you then, uh, every post they see of you, they will see that very tagline. So if I, I aim to write content about two, three times, two, three times a week. And so every time I pop up in those news feeds, they will, they will be seeing my tagline. It's very basic. It's very easy. Um, the second, the second benefit of this, um, of having those innovation managers in your, your target audience, the people you want to reach in your target audience is that they have similar, uh, probably a lot of similar people in their own target audience. And if they start engaging with your post, uh, the post will get traction and it will be shown also to other relevant people within their network. So this can create kind of a snowball effect. 